What's up guys, this is your Tearded Gamer, and we've got some more career mode, I said we'll be doing another team, we're doing Stoke City, the Potters, who still haven't got a manager yet, but they're going to get, um, what's his name, Hughes, but um, as you see guys, they've got some players who I've signed and all that a lot, you can see here, got rid of Crouch, and um, all that jazz trying to sort out this bit, ah, but I got rid of Crouch, yeah, Oh, he's just too old, and I thought to myself, you know, don't want to get him. I want to be a Stoke team that's going to be good at passing the ball and all that lot. So I thought to myself, yeah. Um, we got rid of Everington. We got Hooper from Celtic, good player. Um, I think, like, he used to play for Scumville, and now he's, like, we got Fatendez, who's, like, 21 years old. He is such a beast. Four-star skiller, three-star weak foot. Um, got ri rid of um, some other players. Um, as you see here, just getting rid of some players. Got rid of Jonathan Waters uh, to Southampton, and uh, we got this guy, Mike Van der Hon. I, I know I'm probably saying his name wrong, but um, as you see, you got some other players that I was very interested in. Got rid of getting Wilkinson's on his way, and we got this guy, Fortro Fenitus, um, Greek, another Greek player who I want to sign, but. You know, I will be showing you um, the next episode or maybe episodes to come, guys, of the players actually signed. And um, we go to our first game. It's against Arsenal, the mighty Arsenal. And you see here, I'm just going to try and do my team as quickly as possible. And um, uh, my team looks quite good, but um, I'm definitely going to get some youth, sc youth scouts and try to get some scouts involved because, you know, this team, it do, like, after the, the main 11 and some on the bench, after that, they're not good. So, I kind of got to improve that kind of thing. And so, getting some youth players and all that lot will be quite nice. And um, if I can get some nice um, youth scouts. I know on my other career mode with Brighton, guys, if you want to check that out as well, guys. Brighton one is a bit better because um, I'm actually trying to get to the Premier League. This one, I'm really in the Premier League. And... Um, as you see, we're playing against Arsenal. Arsenal got a very strong team with the likes of Drew, Santi Cazorla, and um, Javinio, and all that jazz. And they're pretty cool, anyway. Um, Arsenal, because Arsenal are just going to be that team who are just going to destroy me. And uh, let's see, we're going in the game at the moment. We do some ground passing. But as you guys say, guys, I will make a playlist for this, guys. And uh, there'll probably be like one of these career modes a day. One be Brighton, one be um, Stoke. Or there might be a squad builder kind of like thing. Um, as I said, the squad builders are quite easy to do because, you know, and that. But the, these games are quite easy as well. And uh, as you see, Gary Hooper's probably got the main thing. You see there, Hooper. Is he going to play? Is he going to do this? But I did play a couple of friendly games, and I think our biggest win was against Sampira in Serie A. We beat them 7-0, and um, yeah, I was playing on a good difficulty as well. But we got Arsenal, and uh, you know we need to beat Arsenal. And um, as you know, Arsenal don't Arsenal got a different playing style to Stoke City and the Sea guys. But um, I know Arsenal are going to get most of the possession anyway because they they love passing. That's like. That's what that, well, they look good at, you know, passing and all that lot. So if I got, I got to be right in their faces, guys. And as you see here, I don't know why I paused the video, um, paused the thing, but you know, for Arsenal, you need to be right in their faces. You know, you, you need to be in their heads because you know Arsenal don't like playing against teams who play the high ball, who like set pieces and all that, guys. So you know, when you're playing um, as a team as set pieces, you want them to foul your wingers or foul players in stupid areas so you can get those dodgy free kicks where you know you can score maybe and you know and then you know everything hunky dory. But um, it's half time at the moment, guys. Uh, nil nil. Nothing really happened, guys. Uh, both teams really didn't have much of chances. Arsenal has always had possession. And when Arsenal had possession, they can they can make chances. And with that possession, they didn't make many chances, guys, as a whole, guys. Mainly because of the fact that, you know, Arsenal really wanted to pass the ball. You know, I would really like a point here, guys, because, you know, Arsenal are a very good team, guys. And um, I think at the moment we're gonna, we, we need to, you know, maybe get one or two more players before, you know, the window ends. Because, you know, if the window ends and we haven't got any more players, and I think we should buy at least one or two more players. As you see there, Michael Van Hooden, my new youngster, he's not 19 years old and he's like 72 overall. So he's going to be quite good. I, I hope he's just going to be one for the future, but I enjoy him the most. And um, as you see, we're back on kickoff again. We're going to pass the ball a little bit. I know up front we've got Kenwin Jones and Gary Hooper. I know they're not going to bring us the much of goals. But as you see here, guys, we have a really good chance. Good cross in the box. 
just every time we have the ball, we look like well, every time we cross it, it looked like good. But let's like, look at this shot. When, when, you know, was that a shot? That was a bad shot. But it went out for it for a deflection. But then they got a set piece here, guys. And I think my set pieces need to be a bit better. I know we've got Charlie Adam, who's a very good set piece player, and um, he's got a beast of a left foot on him, guys. If you don't know, Charlie Adam, I don't know why Liverpool got rid of him because he was a good player for Liverpool, I think. And uh, you know, like that. But then. Look at this, they, they have so many good chances, Arsenal, and Arsenal really were one of those teams where, you know, they, they had one chance, I, I don't know why, but then you look at here, Gary Hooper with a goal, and I was like, yes, not a sweaty goal, or not a, you know, typical Stoke goal, this was actually a quite a good goal, and Gary Hooper's showing out his robot skills to Crouch, he, I know Crouch is probably playing in Germany, like, looking at it, like, oh, but look, look at this for a goal, good pass, good another good pass and look at that and ju and he just hits the ball and it's a great finish but then Arsenal in the 90th minute has so many chances to score guys I'm not believing um, I'm not even kidding how many chances they had they hit the post they hit um, the bar from Fred and we do win the game 1-0 and uh, good juicy three points and we also uh, play against Reading guys um, it's another game and McEnough scores this one good goal from McEnough you know I couldn't really explain much um, I think I did miss I, I did I think I over edited um, that one of the bit oh god um, one of the videos I think um, Jones scored from a near post goal and um, I think I over edited that out, uh, out of it just didn't put that in the video but as you see here guys great movement from um, for Des and look at this for a goal and I was like screaming and shouting because Kenwin Jones has scored but sorry guys if you did miss Kenwin Jones scored like a near post goal and against Reading, but you know, it's pretty good, but we've got six points in the first two games. Um, Reading, you know, we should win against Reading, and you know, and uh, Arsenal was a very good three points, and uh, hopefully, you know, maybe we try and get a Europa League place, or maybe get a high finish, and maybe improve for next season, guys. But um, as I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. There will be a separate playlist for this, guys, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Thanks, guys. Bye.